Hello, Aprikans, I am the Hornbill TV La Nagumi's Express. Nagaland Chief Minister Nifurio, Deputy Chief Minister T.R. Ziliang, and PWD, Roads and Bridges Minister G. Kaito Ayai, and Delhi the Union Minister, Road, Transport and Highways, Nitin Gat Karige, Lok Paigana Nagaland the National Highways Bunai Thakya Oport Kutha Kuris. Itu Oport, Deputy Chief Minister T.R. Ziliang Bra tweet Kurise ki, Ajikali, Parent Town Civil Society Organizations Bra. National Highway 129A block kuri gina thakya upar Union Minister bra State Sarkar ge NHI DCL laga Director Technical Aro Enforcement Director Kohima logo de meeting mati gina parent town te saman biya kuri diya laga compensation upar fasla ulabole direct kuri sa. July 31st te Parent Civil Society Organization Aro Parent Village Council bra Nagaland Aro Manipur connect kuri a National Highway 129A do bon kuri gina aya do aji pass din hoya sa. NHI DCL bra parent town portion 2.8 km stretch te na bonai gina kaam do withdraw kuri diya ni mide parent CSOs bra protest kuri na rasta do bon kuri diya se. Mokchung district la IOC ar khensa bosti machu de thaka NH 702D दे थर्सडे अगस्त थर्ड शाम लोकल टैक्सी मारुति वैन एकता 150 फीट नीचे गिरी ना मानो एक जून मुरी जाए एसडीपीओ मोक्चोंग तीसरे पोजार ब्रा जनाइ से ये तो जगह दे बिशे एक्सीडेंट हुई था के ताई बारो जनाइ से कि टैक्सी ड्राइवर लगा बॉडी उठाई लुई से किंतु एसडीआरएफ खान के अलग मानो भी था पोजार लोगों दे आरो जनाइ से कि ताईखान उसोर एरियास खान लगा सीसीटीवी ब्रा मानो अलग थकिसे ना नाइ जानी बोले कोशिश करिए से इतना तक अलग बॉडी पार नहीं किंतु इन्वेस्टिगेशन जा से अच्छा ये दे मोक्चुंग दे आईओसी और कैंसल लगा रास्ता दे ये दे एक तस स्ट्रेस है से एक्सीडेंट ब्रोन एरिया से य मैं नहीं जे आये तो ये दे एसिडेंट गुरा मान सातो एक ता डेड पोटी रिकवर गुरी जे सो इट वाज अ लोकल टैक्सी वी डोंट नो वेदर दे वर एनी अदर पैसेंजर्स सो इधर एसटीआरएफ कन भी है कि ना ये दे चेक गुरी आजे एंड वी आर आल्सो ट्राइंग टू एसिडेंट फ्रॉम सीसीटीवीस इन द नेपरिंग एरियस तारी � Death of the driver. So uh, investigation is still on. If we have details, Aru wait to The Dimapur de Choyjun Manuge arrest Kurina se counterfeit products bikri kuragade. Arresto Titan Company Limited bra complaint file kura pichi de hualas. Chata Dukan, Shangri La Market or Hong Kong Market de Thaka Khan, Sonata, Titan or Fast Track la counterfeit wrist watches bikri kuri thaka dikhi paas. अलग रेट कुरा दे द्वितीया दुकान मालिक हाजी पाक ते थका खान के अरेस्ट कुरी से लैक में लगा काउंटरफेट कॉस्मेटिक प्रोडक्ट बिक्री कुरा करे पुलिस पर सब मिलाई गिना 170 रेस्ट वॉचेस 128 वॉच चेन्स और 213 डायल्स फर्स्ट रेट ते दुरी से और 1048 काउंटरफेट लैक में कॉस्मेटिक प्रोडक्ट्स तो सेकंड रेट ते दुरी से इतो ऊपर दे द्वितीया केसेस रजिस्टर कुरी ना से ईस्ट पुलिस स्टेशन दिमापुर ते कॉपीराइट एक्ट 1957 अंडर दे ट्रेडमार्क एक्ट ऑफ 1999 आरो इंडियन पीनल कोड ला अलग सेक्शंस अंडर दे लगाई दी गिना से मणिपुर के मेजोरिटी कम्युनिटी थका लगा मॉब प्रा रिपोर्टेडली पुलिस आर्मी दे घुसी गई ना पुलिस लगा हथियार खान चोर कुरी दिस मॉब प्रा सेकंड इंडियन रिजर्व बटालियन ला हेडक्वार्टर्स कुंडो नारांसे ना विष्णुपुर डिस्ट्रिक्ट तहसे ताते घुसी गई ना 19,000 राउंड्स ऑफ बुलेट्स अलग अलग कैलिबर्स ला चोर कुरी से एक ही सीरीज असॉल्ट राइफल लुई से तीन ता घाटक राइफल्स 195 सेल्फ लोडिंग राइफल्स पांच ता एमपी 5 बंदूक 16 9 मिलीमीटर पिस्टल्स 25 बुलेट प्रूफ जैकेट्स 21 कार्बाइन्स 124 हैंड ग्रेनेड्स और अलग खान चोर कुरी से रिपोर्ट्स ला हिसाब से क्राउड प्रा ताते जमा हुई जैसे चुराचानपुर दे मार्च कुरी ना जाबले कुते ट्राइबल्स खान एथनिक क्लाशेस दे ताका निजोर लगा मानो मुरी जा खान लगा मास बरियल कुर बोले प्लान कुरी थाई से मेजॉरिटी कम्युनिटी ब्रा स्टेट कैपिटल दे द्वितीया आर्मीज थका ते भी चोर कुर बोले कोशिश कुरी से कुरी से किंतु कामयाब हो नाही
Don Bosco Higher Secondary School ho kha pra field cultivation lesson ekta organize kuri se class 12 students karne August 3rd 2023 the cultural practices can promote aro bachai gina rakhi bale. Principal Reverend Father T.C. Joseph Pra nijo la culture or significance bachai gina rakhi bale la opor de highlight kuri se aro kheti kura laga zarurat opor kuri se life aro culture sustain kuri bale. Taibra emphasize kuri se ki kheti kura pra optimism aro positive attitude ane traditional gana khan bhi kheti kura humoi pass down kuri bale. Father Joseph Prak kuise ki globalization la age te mati logo symbiotic relationship thakir bile laga zarurat thaka kuise aro akha ra kise ki indigenous cultural practices introduce kura bra hard work aro patience la values kan students upor thakir bile. Taiba farmers khan ki bhi thank kuise lagi thaka saman khan bhi dhya kane aro national education policy under the upcoming vocational aro skill development subjects khan upor bhi mention kuise. Assistant teacher Rumben Murray pra bhi stand स्टूडेंट्स खान के एनकरेज करी से कल्चरल हेरिटेज बचाई गिना राखी बोले आजकल ही बदली होई थाके जुनिया थे इवन तो मार्कस लो था लैंग्वेज टीचर और असिस्टेंट टीचर रुमेन मोरिला इनिशिएटिव अंडर द लोलास Brillant Piano Festival la 4th edition, ito saal 29 September bra, 1st October, Koyima la Capital Cultural Hall de logo lehase Koyina organizers kaan bra, Friday de janai di se. Brillant Piano Festival do music la community ke aage loi jabo le focus ase, ar ito bra stakeholders kaan sop ke la paani bo le koshish ekta thaka jani paise. Ito saal la edition de bhi performance, competition, aro pedagogi thaki bo le ase. Brillante Piano Festival started, initially started as um, known as Brillante Nagaland Piano Festival, which started in the year 2017 with a vision to promote, you know, to encourage and celebrate piano learning here in Nagaland. But with time, the, uh, with the unwavering support and interest from, you know, all across the globe, today it has become a pan India movement. And the festival is making its way to us again. And it is not worthy to laud the media fraternity in this regard. The credit for the escalating momentum of the festival all directs to the efforts of the media team for giving Brillanti the maximum coverage and promotion, taking it not only beyond the state boundaries, but internationally as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you also for taking time to cover today's press conference. Uh, given your busy schedule, it means a lot to us. So thank you, the media fraternity present here. And also I would like to thank our Honorable Deputy Commissioner, Sri Shanavas, CIAS, for joining us, sir. Your reputation goes beyond to inspire us, <laughs> setting an exemplary model for the younger generation as a leader. Brillante, your amicable to, you know, support towards Brillante and your presence here is going to set a new benchmark towards this history-making festival. So thank you for making time to be here with us. Brillante strongly you know, believes in um, supporting and uplifting musicians from in all different aspects. So to begin with our press conference, we have few artists to enthrall us with, you know, in different uh, diverse performances. So first off, we have a dance by Rosie. She is studying music in the operators and dance in Lam Grace Dance Studio. So let's all welcome Rosie. Oh, I think the power of music and the way in music impacts uh, not just human beings, but even uh, nature in itself, or even animals, it, it is beyond uh, our capacity and understanding. So we want uh, the whole community to be blessed, to be inspired, uh, to be entertained, uh, to just be mesmerized by beautiful things that are going to happen in the hall during those three nights. Uh, we also have competition, and the competition is, uh, uh, is in Western classical and jazz. This is the only one of its kind in India as well, to have a multi-genre piano competition. And so uh, we will be having it um, starting kicking off very soon online. The prelims are online, and the semifinals and finals will be held during the festival live 
at the Capitol Cultural Hall as well. So these three elements are something that is uh, that has grown and is really impactful, and really they are the core of our festival, and uh, that's what strengthens and makes our festival so so special. I also want to say that you know Brillante is a spectacular piano festival. It is vibrant because it uh, it is it really exemplifies the energy of the youth, not only of Nagaland, but also of the young India, a growing, a growing community that, is, uh, that has so much hope, that has so much to contribute, and there's so much to say uh, about any area of subject that they can put their energy into. And so we are vibrant, we are, we are innovative, we come up with new creative ways to engage uh, all of you, to even engage ourselves, because we like to do things that are meaningful to us as well, and that interest us as well. We're not doing this mainly just for, uh, for a momentum or just to time pass, <laughs> as we say sometimes, you know, just to go through an event. But we really believe in what we do. And that's why this year, I am so honored to also initiate, along with my team, uh, the Specially Abled Musicians Project program, which, me which is to celebrate, basically, the our disabled community, our specially, special needs community, uh, to celebrate not only their achievements, but to celebrate the spirit of discipline and uh, overcoming all odds and how music has changed their lives and inspired them to persist in something that they have uh, put their hearts and mind to. So we are welcoming musicians from all over the nation or even outside the nation to be a part of the SAM program, which is the Specially Abled Musicians program, uh, as we want to highlight their stories, to tell the, the world their story, and to inspire a whole community, maybe that has not had the platform to see them uh, in a real sense. So we want to do that. And so uh, we will be having special performers also at the Capitol Cultural Hall who will be performing, representing proudly that segment of the community. Uh, you must be wondering why I'm here. Uh, no, I don't play piano. <laughs> uh, of course, uh, I am here with their invitation, but I have some message also to give to all of you. So usually the press conference is like very serious. So we have discussions, controversies, counter questions and questions. So this is something different and I am enjoying it. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that we all enjoy the performances and uh, something positive about the region about the district and what we are going to do so what this event is going to be and it, of course it started it started from 2017 and how it is going to be on september 29 30 and 1 miss has just explained so i won't go into those details so why uh, the district administration of course we decided to support this kind of an event is that definitely we are going to have an international platform and national artists and international artists are going to come and be here and our region, this northeast region and the states, mostly are known for like very bad reasons these days. <laughs> so I think I want to encourage the youth <coughs> to come forward for these kind of positive events. So this is the image we want to project to the outside world. Not the image of our tribe, not the image of our village, and not the image of <coughs> our differences, what we are keeping, and the infights we are going to have. I think whether it's arts or sports or any platform like this, if that uh, union, that connection can happen in a place like Nagaland, where we are inviting people from other states and other countries to come here and see our land, where we can show what our hospitality actually means, where we can show the talents in our arts and sports, I think the younger generation especially, <coughs> we have to come together, forgetting all our differences and support these kind of events. That is why we are here with that message. And definitely, uh, we are also planning something uh, in connection with the Beti Bachao and Beti Padao uh, with their event. Of course, <coughs> we are yet to come to a specific <coughs> event, but definitely we will be coming it soon and it will be available to all of you. So, these kind of events don't happen usually much in Nagaland and all. In cities like Delhi, Mumbai and all, you keep having these international events and national events where people come and participate and come together. So these kind of limited opportunities, I think we should grab it with both the hands. And these are the platforms where we can just uh, come together, uh, have some happiness and spread some happiness to the society so that we forget our differences and we come to 
uh, what is common with us so i think uh, this is a good opportunity for all of us especially is happening happening in the uh, state capital and being the administration in the state capital uh, me and my aca is also here so we have come in support of them and i think we encourage all the youth in kohima to come together and support this program and whether you are a piano uh, player or a guitar player or if, if you don't have any connection <laughs> with the music at all yes. still you can come and enjoy uh, still you can come and see the talents and promote the talents i think as i said in multiple occasions uh, the playground of our youth is not kohima not nagaland it has to be the country it has to be the entire world so i think that is a message i wanted to give <coughs> and thank you very much for inviting me here it's my privilege and all the best to the team and the event thank you very much thank you sir the, the concerts will be in the evening i think september 5 o'clock and tends to be little safe for kohima so we do a little early so 5 pm in the evenings uh, that's a great question and i'm very comfortable to talk about <laughs> it um yes uh, you know brilante is a local event that has gone global actually and uh, it has grown beyond our pockets and our dream is bigger than our pockets but that's great because um i think every edition we've just we dream about it first and then we are very brave i would want to congratulate all my team members for putting their trust in me and the vision of brilante and uh we're kind of mad i'm telling you because we never look at our budget and we go ahead so for this year when we look at the budget it came up to like 26 lakhs and but we started with 1.5 lakhs and i think we have not even reached um 20% of it at the moment however the way that uh, god has just and you know has just provided for this festival even for now is that the as i was talking about different brands no one has actually given us cash but they take care of some expenses they would sponsor an artist that's coming so for kmc and adam greek who's coming from chennai you know tatma will sponsor them or let maybe yamaha would yamaha is taking care of all the prizes for for the winners in terms of they giving three digital pianos for the winners and so things like that where where music musical will come in and do one resource they so they come on their own they send their resource and that's how we've been able to meet our ends meet the needs of the festival but i just want to also say that we do have a lot of um uh, i think if we have a lot more cash in the sense that we if we meet our cash budget we can also do much better than um than we have even planned uh, we want to really live up to the name of the festival live up to the name of our state as well in hospitality and we're going to give our best no matter what and our creative and logistics team also um they think of the best way in the cheapest cost to make things happen and that's how we have been doing so If there's anyone who wants to support this festival, we welcome you with open arms. Thank you. Nagaland de Chutwaru Medium Exporters Kange Facilitate Kurbani Mide Department of Postpra Nutun Facility Daggar Niryat Kendra Koigina introduce kurse. Ite Nagaland de Pasta DNK Center do Kuligina se kuise Koima Head of Post Office Dimapur Pek Mokchung Jaluki de. The Postal Department is starting a new Uh, export facilitation center called the dark gar niryat kendra in short dnk uh, it is a export facilitation center for the small and medium exporters based in the states so now what is the advantage is that uh, the advantage is that you will not the exporters do not go through a middleman number one you can do everything online by registering with us and all the paperwork that was earlier done manually for the customs clearance and others this will be now done completely online so that is the uh, second advantage and the third advantage is that once the customer ha- has uh, logged in and also registered with us the pick up facility etc from the premises depending on the volume of course will be given by us so this is a very convenient to uh, allow the custom customer to sell directly to the uh, you know uh, buyers from abroad so this process has been made very simple especially for the small and medium exporters base here now there are just two or three prerequisite that the exporter need to do one is that 
to register with that, you need what you call a import export license IEC code. That can be done if uh, if the exporter has the requisite GST number, etc., Aadhaar and all. Once that is done with just 500 rupees, you can from the website you can uh, get the code number. So once that code is generated, you can use this in our uh, Dark Niriyat Kendra. Log in on to your system, not coming to our post office. Also, you just log on. Whatever you want to export, then the the amount and the rates are generated. One that is generated, it is sent to our system online and where you can just send your boys or whatever to come to post office, book it and then the, uh, the bill will, will be generated. So this is a very simple process for made for uh, the exporter by the government of India to export things, not only for people who are based in Mumbai or Delhi or wherever you know foreign post office are, but also all over India you any in all the designated post office, uh, we, you can book this article. So in Nagaland, based on the demands and also based on the study, we have uh, opened at Kohima, uh, Dimapur, Peg, Wakha, and Zaluki, Magokchung also. So five center we have. Wakha we have not yet opened, but it is uh, Magokchung. So five uh, center, DNK center in the post office we have opened and uh, we hope that, I, I'm also happy to uh, announce that five to six exporters have already registered with us based in Nagaland and uh, they have already started uh, you know, sending articles uh, to Australia and New Zealand and Germany just recently also. So, now people are coming to us. So we need more publicity. So with your help, the media and others, we, we are uh, approaching all of you to give wide publicity to, because small, small exporters, even, uh, you know, it could be any article. Uh, it could be perishable item like fruits and all these things can also be sent. So, and the capacity is up to 35 kg per, per packet you can send. It will be done through a speed post, it will go through our foreign post and then custom clearance will be done automatically and then it will go on to. So this is one of the sample that we have a packing machine back in Kohima and Dimapur. So uh, these are the small sample, this I think 5 kg, ka. This, this can go on to bigger uh, thing up to 35 kg. So uh, yeah, yeah, 35, 5, 35 is maximum, 35 kg per item. There's no limit to uh, the item of number or weight or volume, but the per packet has to be limited because we have to handle, uh, our people has to handle. So 35 kg is one limit that we have put for per uh, article, art, that means the packet parcel. You can do booking at night, day, any time of the day. I mean, like it is uh, 24 hours, you can book. Only your, your uh, physical parcel has to be brought either to post office of this designated uh, DNK center. Otherwise, if it is like, you know, one truck or something, then you can inform us, we'll send you our, you know, mail vans to pick it up. Suppose if that exporter has one truck worth a lot of, uh, you know, item or fruits or whatever, we, we will arrange according if they contact us, you know. So it, it, is, it has to make business sense for us also. If it is just a small 5 kg thing, then I, I'll be sending my truck or gari, it doesn't make sense. So it has to uh, make some, uh, you know, business, uh, you know, win-win situation for you and me, like the exporter and us. So it's a, in ultimately, we are also doing uh, to at least make, even though government of India have a policy of no profit, no loss, so we should not be at loss for giving the service, yeah. We have already done, uh, we do it at various level. First, number one, we have already had a meeting with our industry department and the Department of Foreign Trade, they have organized and as part of that, we made the, give the presentation where a lot of exporters and also farmers were also involved. So, we are hand holding together. We, I cannot do this alone. We are a service provider, but the government of Nagaland, that is the industry commerce department, has to be uh, onboarded, and we have already in talks with them, and they create awareness. And we all this is the third or fourth meeting, of course, with the press the first time, 
I already had meeting with the band uh, group, uh, Business Association of Nagaland, and uh, I think uh, uh, Federation of uh, this Deepapur Chamber of Commerce and all. We have already had meeting with them. Through their awareness, only these four or five exporters have come on board. And some uh, people are still uh, you know, in the process because they said, because uh, the demands, uh, because earlier they had a lot of difficulty, they had given up. But this opportunity has made them rethink their strategy and trying to sell uh, you know, or export the items abroad, especially dry fruit products, to sending to uh, you know, this, our uh, Middle East countries, Dubai and other places. So those things are being, we are already under talks. Of course, we are just facilitator. And if those things happen, then hopefully you know, it will contribute to the economy and it will help our entrepreneur and exporter in the long run. Thank you very much for your bulletin. Thank you very much for your bulletin. Goodbye.